Hi, I'm walking in Philadelphia at like Drexel University, basically. Um, I got out of class at 150, and I'm trying to get to Bard College in upstate New York. Now, most people would say, go to 30th Street, get an Amtrak train in New York, get another Amtrak train up to like upstate New York. But I'm like, uh, no way. I'm gonna take the cheapest way to get to upstate New York, and we're gonna find out what that entails. Um, so currently, I'm walking to the Greyhound Terminal in Philadelphia. Um, it's gonna be a long walk, but I'm not gonna take SEPTA, because I have to pay for that. So we're, 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 <laughs> we're starting it off on a shoestring. This is gonna be interesting. Hear the L train speeding down underneath these vents. Oh, there it is. I hear it. That's tantalizing. We have arrived. This, this looks like an awful terminal. The second row of line B. If you are holding schedule 35, 87, that schedule is the 315 service going to Wilmington. This makes no sense. There was another bus on the George Washington Bridge that boarded already. Mine is supposed to have left now, but it seems not to exist yet. Hopefully it eventually will. At least we have Alan. They just announced a 25 to 30 minute delay. Bus came in, but no one's doing anything about it. So it's just sitting there. Okay, it's 3.44, and we're leaving Philly finally. So here we are, 45, more or less, minutes late. Got off the worst bus ride ever. Hour and a half late. No hopes of getting a cheap way anymore. Just gonna try to get down to Harlem 125th in about 25 minutes, which is probably impossible. So, yeah, great stuff happening. Okay, 275 for the subway fare. And now, go train to Far Rockaway in three minutes, and go on to 125th, and then sprint. I don't, even, I don't even know why I'm trying. I don't even know why I'm trying. Look at this, look at this beautiful station. Don't you love the New York subway? It's so, so aesthetically pleasing. Oh my God. Apollo Theater, okay. So, in high school, no, in middle school, I ran a mile in 5.58. This is a little less than a mile, but there's so many people, and I am not as athletic as I may used to be. So, I have about eight minutes to get to like two and a half. No park app. And I'm currently, I don't know what happened, but. Okay. Target is in sight. I'm walking now. I think I'll make it. But also, because I'm really tired. It makes me happy though, 
that by running, I beat the bus I would have had to wait for otherwise. So, that's a good thing. I, I'm faster than a New York City bus. I think everyone can say that. <laughs> oh god. It's a lot nicer in here than I thought it would be. I, I need to take a machine. I caught my ticket. Now I can get the train. Thank you. Look, if that works, Wow. I'm not quite sure how I did that. But we're here and we're gonna get the train. So much for saving money, but it's okay. So much for the cheapest route. <laughs> I'm interested in what this will add up to at the end. made it to Poughkeepsie. Um, next challenge is figuring out where the bus stops. That's a good one. Okay, so I found the bus station. It's actually really nice and substantial and all sheltered and rather fancy. Um, I am surprised. Um, so it's currently about 8.37, I have until 8.50, so for the first time I'm actually waiting for a little bit, which I am not complaining about. It's a nice bus.
Okay, it's 4.47 on Sunday, and I'm now heading back to Philadelphia on this lovely school bus for phase one, but this is the Bard shuttle, so it's free, which is a good start and with regards to getting back cheaply. made to Poughkeepsie. Um, of note, the fact that we are here 25 minutes before the train's supposed to leave. Also, this minibus run by Ulster County Area Transit. And it's a weird low floor strange minibus. Sort of like that Gatro one, that one time. Okay, so I'm in the lovely Poughkeepsie Grand Hall. That I did not know existed when I came here last time. Uh, here was my thinking. My thinking was get the $8 ticket with cash, then I'll get change. Completely forgetting that ticket machines don't have bills. Go so Hamburg is next. Please have all tickets available. If you have the Metro North E ticket on your phone, please have it activated. Okay, um, I have gotten off the train at Peekskill, and I'm now going to walk. Uh, to the bus. The bus being uh, the B Line 14. Uh, B Line is the bus system in all of Westchester County, and it does come up as far north as Peekskill. And I'll be using local buses to get down to the Bronx. Um, so, we're leaving this rather, rather nice looking station. Uh, and we're gonna head up this hilly street here, get to the bus stop, um, and this bus will go to White Plains, and then we're gonna get another bus to the Bronx from there. Uh, and this is gonna be a very, 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 very long bus ride as well. So, see how that goes. Um, this is a very hilly, Twisty road. Um, this also isn't the road that I'm technically supposed to take. I don't quite know where that road is. But we're gonna hope that this one also goes to the street that the 14 runs on. Observation one. This is a pretty nice modern shelter. Observation two, here's the 14, here is the Sunday schedule. Pretty, uh, pretty frequent, huh? Okay, I'm on the bus. Uh, there are like 20 people on here, which is surprising because the anemic surface that this thing has. So, first observation, which you probably run more often, but on the last trip on a two hourly service you'd expect it to be pretty quiet, but it's not. So, run more service in the 14 B-Line. Another observation is that this route seems to have really far apart stop spacing. Like we'll go through a town, we'll be one stop for the town, and that's it. So we were supposed 
supposed to be at the White Plains Trans Center two minutes ago. Um, Approaching Carrytown Road and Hillside Avenue. I was really hoping them to say White, um, White Plains Trans Center. Um, but if I miss my connection at 8.31, that's bad. This bus is supposed to get there at 8.21 and now it's 8.23. Like so, eight minutes to make it. I think we're probably getting close, hopefully. Alright, we were something like, we were eight minutes late to this garage-like bus terminal. Um, I'm not sure how we were so late because it was pretty fast the whole time, but Maybe they just didn't give enough time in the schedule. Um, so now we're getting our bus to the Bronx, which is supposedly coming in Berth E, which is this, sorry, Lane E, which is this lane. Um, probably where all those people are waiting down there. Um, yeah, so. White Plains. What a strange bus terminal. trip so I'm gonna sit back. Uh, I don't know if there'll be much to film because it's night but we'll see. bus ride. Just very crowded, uninteresting scenery, lots of stops, etc, etc. Although there's a direct connection to the Port Authority bus terminal, I'm going to take the surface, surface streets, because Times Square. Center of the universe, everyone, Times Square. Start spreading the news. Alright, Greyhound buses are downstairs. Oh, to go down further. This is, a, this is a big old terminal. So far, I like it a lot more than the one in Philly, I'll say that. Check that out, the 10.30 to Philadelphia was canceled. I am happy I'm on the 11 o'clock. All right, we're finally boarding, about 10 minutes late. Okay, um, I think I have a chance of getting a 42. All right, 
So that was that. Um, that was a long journey. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that was a super long journey. Um, the cost of the trip will be displayed now. And yeah, cost benefit analysis. Was it worth it? Well, it was cheap.